is the story of Vicki Chapman. Now, she was visiting her family when her nine-year-old grandson came up to her, asked her if she would look over his book report that was due at school on Monday. And then, as Vicki explains, this led to an astonishing God wink. I was thrilled when Jake asked me to read his book report. I changed some spelling and told him what a great job he had done. The name of the book was Shoot for the Hoop, about a little boy who loved to play basketball. But when the boy came down with a serious illness, his parents wouldn't let him play anymore. Finally, the doctor and coach convinced his mom that it would be safe, and he ended up scoring the point to win the game. That evening, when I got home, I called my son and daughter-in-law to mention that something troubled me, that Jake looked really thin. His mom, Amy, said she agreed and had already scheduled a medical checkup for a Monday afternoon. Late Monday, I got an alarming call. My son, Matt, was choking back tears. He told me Jake had been diagnosed with juvenile diabetes and that they had taken him to the hospital. I was nearly speechless with that diagnosis. My son said the doctor was amazed at the intelligent questions our young Jake had asked, and people were awed that Jake seemed to know exactly what to do, even pricking his finger to test his blood. I, of course, knew immediately that it was a God wink. Of all the books in the library Jake could have chosen for his book report, he had picked Shoot for the Hoop which is about a boy with juvenile diabetes. It was not coincidence, I was sure of it. The book was put in Jake's hands to prepare him for what was to come and to keep him from being afraid. Aren't God winks wonderful? Yes, they are yes, wonderful. They are. What a sweet, beautiful. <laughs> now the message of the story is that see, we sometimes go through our days encountering random accidents. Mm. We yeah. think they are one after another. But when you pull back and you look at the bigger picture, you see that there is a magnificent design mm -hmm. and it's all put together. Yeah. God wink by God wink. Yeah. That's right. That, thank you so much, Squire, Squire. Thank you so much. And if you have a God wink story, what should they do, Hoda? You can share with us on klgandhoda.com. Just hit the connect button. We love those stories. You might be in his next book. We're back in a moment with his wife. You're going to love this. She is hysterical, Stick Louise around. Duarte. But this first, is today yeah. on NBC. Happen every day, doesn't count. No, we have Louise Duart with us, Squire's wife, who's one of the most brilliant yeah. female impressionists in the world. We right? love her to pieces. Or a female impersonator, however. <laughs> yeah. And I never know who I'm waking up next okay. to. Hey, it could be Judge Judy. Do you see stupid on my forehead here? Well, it could be Catherine Hepburn. I don't know. Oh, a friend, Drescha. <laughs> Maybe it's Marge Simpson. Hey, dude, that'd be really cool if it was Bart, man. That'd be really cool. Hey. <gasps> what if it was Barbara Walters do it? Barbara Walters? Oh, <laughs> well, you know, hold a copter. <laughs> I've interviewed everyone from Ronald Reagan to Robert Redford to Watson Russell to Roger Webber. <laughs> See what I mean? I never we know. love Lu Louise. Oh, you're amazing. So much fun. That's all, folks. Coming yeah. up next week, we have the mysteries of Laura Star, Deborah Messing. Then do this as George Burns. Grab your kids and get ready to uh, look a little, uh, look a little quick. Look a little. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. That, all right, whatever she said. Also, comedian actress Jenny Slate, Lou Manfredini, and Elvis Duran is back with another artist Plus of the my month. trainer. He's oh, hot. the Aussie. Have a great weekend, Bye. everybody. Bye-bye. I need my glasses. <laughs> <laughs> and cigars.